Good morning. Grace and peace to you all in Jesus' name. Good morning, guys. Someone here remind me where we are this morning. Revelations chapter number what? Skin fragrance first this morning. Good morning, Philip. We should catch up. Oh. Philip, Philip Okafor, we should catch up. Are, are we at Revelations chapter number 11? Are we at Revelations chapter number 11? Uh, Alaki Ja came in. Good morning. Babs Capitals, good morning. Babs, I'm not able to make it. I'm pressing things here and, you know, do that another time. We're at number 12. Revelations chapter number 12. Alma Karibo, how are you? Miriam Adeye Mitima. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's all I can say. Good morning, everyone. Revelations 12. Kemi Dennis, everyone joining run through revelations 12 if you're done with lbs your graduation is sunday please be in service sunday morning promises to be a good time on sunday morning glory to god glory to god amen glory to god Magnify the Lord with me. Let's make our declarations. Okay, let's do this. At the count of three, one, two, three, go. Let's make our declarations. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's do it one more time. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I am the redeemed of the Lord. All my sins are forgiven. I am passionately loved by God. I am powerfully helped by God. I am kept and protected by God. I enjoy angelic assistance. I am irrevocably blessed. I am eternally forgiven. I am the healed of the Lord. I enjoy divine health. I have the favor and the wisdom of God. I am fruitful. I flourish, excel, and prosper in all that I do. Nothing is against me. Nothing dies in my hands. I am never stranded. All things are working together for my good. God loves me more than the devil hates me. And grace is working for me. Glory to God. Amen. If you have been through Logic Foundation class, your graduation is this Sunday, especially if you graduated and you passed your exams. If you've been through LBS Stream 1 and Stream 2, um, your graduation is this Sunday. I think Izine was best graduating student for second set. 
if I check properly. But dress code for guys, black suit and tie, white shirt tie for the women, um, a black dress for the graduation ceremony. Please, for those of you guys who are, who, um, are not in the country, your certificate will be sent to you you get your certificate that you can print out, you can download, you can have your certificate online for those of you who are outside um, the country. But those of you who are in Lagos, important that you are in church. The information should be in your mail. Please check your mail. Don't stress me. Come to church on time. It's a sitting designated seat for the people who are graduating and we'll take it up from there. Both LBS and um, LFC. Stream one and stream two graduation is this Sunday. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. So we are we are, we are but I haven't received an email from Teller. You shall receive this morning. I'm just telling you. I think top of my head. I know my. I think you. Uh, uh, I think you're best graduating student for second stream. Uh, that's what we're doing. Amen. So the graduation will be Sunday. Uh, Awards for, for best graduating student, first stream, second stream, yes, basically. First and second stream, LFC and um, LBS. And then the next set will start um, on uh, in January. Now, if you have not gone through LFC and LBS, you can't enter master class or school of the spirit. Let me just put it out there. If you have not gone through LFC and LBS, you, you can't join School of the Spirit. That is important. It's important. You can't join School of the Spirit. And I want to start training disciples. Some of you, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be calling you out. I'm going to step on your toes. I don't care, but there's, there's work for us to be done. So it's in a heads up. Roll up your sleeve. The days of chilling, those days are over. Let me just start mentioning names here. It's in a, those the days of chilling are over. Um... Rekia Yusuf, don't try me this next year. Kemi, New Jersey, that whole area, you are going to start a GIST meeting. You and Gerard, pastors of that area, we are going to take this nation. Yeah. Um, LFC outside, how do people join LFC out of, out of the country? We're working on that faith. Faith, now that you are here, join the one that is here first. Um, faith ministry is calling. Adesua. Omoye ministry is calling. Let me just be calling all of you. Antonia, oh, that's it. This is where people stop commenting because I'm looking for people to, to call out. Michelle, fantastic. Michelle is sound. This is the day for your... for it. Daniela, there's no... that whole sitting in front, just chilling. The, that time is over. 2023, I'm coming for all my people. You can't you don't even try me, you can't hide. Is Zine number one? Zine has been chilling for years. <sighs> Pussy. You people, let me catch you people in this life. To Bamwe. Let me let me catch you. Nobody should. Clint the drunk is a ministry. Clint has a, a special understanding of the scripture. Please, I'm coming to get my certificate. Are you in church this Sunday? Nikki, are you in church this Sunday? If you're in church this Sunday, you can get your certificate. So Nikki's certificate is there. Daddy, I heard my name. See, no, 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 Gerard, you did not graduate from LFC. You didn't answer my prerequisite questions. You, 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 you are not graduating. I can assure you. I'm not even playing with you, but I am coming for all of you. I'm coming for all of you. I'm coming for all of you. 2023. No, Gerard. And um, no end of the month. Okay, we can print it and present it to you when you come. Gerald and Kemi, your cell group must start. Amadi, I'm coming for you 2023. There's work of the ministry to be done. Work of the ministry. I need missionaries, people who are willing to go. There's a lot of work to be done. There's a lot of work to be done. There is mainland church please take it easy on us which us i this um, um grandma they talk daniel daniel lord stop it daniel don't don't vex me don't provoke me this morning that can you be people are talking you too you are talking you that your mates are even having their general of in many churches people that don't know anything are having churches you are there 
Just cross your leg in the morning, look cute, and receive all the anointing and go. Lie, lie. Cannot happen. Gerard and Kemi, next year, start your cell meeting there. Start your, 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 your online meeting. Straight. This gospel must go. I'm mad I'm coming for you. I'm just saying it. 2023, there is work to be done. Clean the drunk. If you clean the drunk in the spirit. Ibuku, that's it. No mercy, Tony. It's the year of the supernatural. I'm not even, I'm not going to play with you people. I will call you out because there's work to be done. People, would there be LFC on the mainland? Yes, LFC starts on the mainland um, in January. LFC starts on the mainland in January. So there's LFC on the Everything that's happened here, HQ, happens on the mainland. Best wishes to all. What is wrong with um, Alma? Alma, that is a woman of God. They're just there, screaming inside church. Is that all that there is to your life? No. You enter ministry. All of you buckle up. You lay on. You just tell me that somebody is sick. Alma, where are you? Go and pray for that person. You go and lay hands on them and they will recover. And I will, I will rest. Amen. You will spread it. So, Revelation chapter 12. That's how we're going to do Revelation chapter 12. Uh, let me break it down to you. 12. Um, the first set of 12 is the woman, the child, and the dragon. The woman, the child, and the dragon. Second is Satan thrown out of heaven. And third is the woman persecuted. The woman, the child, and the dragon. Satan thrown out of heaven. And the woman persecuted. Glory to God. From verse 1. Now a great sign appeared in heaven. The woman clothed with sun and with the moon under her feet and on her head a garland of 12 stars. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. Another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven dying them on his head. Don't try to imagine this, this, this picture. It's crazy. John is really an overseer. He was overseeing things. <laughs> His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and, and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child as soon as it was born. She bore a male child who was to rule all, all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up to God in his throne then. Um, hold up a minute. Let me show you something. In. Just trying to substantiate what you're reading. Okay, let me read along. Um, verse 6. Then the woman fled into the wilderness where she was, where she has a place prepared by God that they should feed her there 1,260 days. And war broke out in heaven. And war broke out in heaven. So from verse 7 is the picture of Satan thrown down out of heaven. And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels forth with the dragon. So we know that the dragon is all the devil. And the dragon and his angels fought but they did not prevail. They didn't fight against God. They fought against who? Michael. They fought against Michael. You see this in Daniel chapter 10, verse 13, 21, um, verse 12, verse 1, and then you see Jude 9. So I repeat verse 8, but they did not prevail, nor was there a place found for them in heaven any longer so the great dragon was cast out that serpent of old so the so that dragon is the serpent of old how do you why is he called the serpent of old the one that visited eve in the garden so you find serpent in genesis 3 verse 1 you find him here again in revelations 12 so the first introduction of the devil is a serpent. That's why I kept telling you people 
The devil is more corny than wicked. The devil is more crafty than powerful. So he's, he's a dragon, but guess what? His first appearance is serpentine. He says, verse 9, So the great dragon was cast out. Who is that dragon? That serpent of old called the devil and Satan, who deceives the whole world. He was cast to the earth and his angels were cast out with him. And his angels were cast out with him. Can you see that? Verse 10. Then I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the kingdom of and the power of his Christ have come for the accuser of the brethren who cursed them before our God day and night has been cast down. And they overcame him by the blood of of the lamb and by the word of their testimony romans 16 verse 20 romans 16 verse 20 romans 16 verse 20 i just want to show you there show you something there romans chapter 16 verse 20 says and the god of peace shall bruise satan under your feet Grace and peace be to you all. Amen. And that, so, and the overcame is the God of peace bruising Satan under your feet. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And what is the testimony? The testimony is what is the testimony that you think is being said here? Um, you find it in Luke 14, 26, Revelation 2, verse 10. Let's go to Luke 14, 26. Then we look for Luke chapter 14. Luke 14, verse 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother, and yeah, he's talking about testifying, testifying about Jesus, um, um, identifying with Christ. That's what you find there. In Luke 14, verse, verse 26, if you go to Revelation 2, verse 10, Revelation 2, verse 10, it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some into prison. So what is it saying? They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. What was the testimony? They kept the faith and did not love their lives to the death. That's why you find Luke chapter 14, 26, Revelation 2, verse 10, substantiating that verse. Therefore rejoice, O heavens, and you who dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea, for the devil has come down to you, having great wrath, because he knows that he has a short time. That means this is giving you expo. The devil actually knows that he has a short time. So he is actually working overtime right now. Verse 13. Now the dragon saw that he had been cast to the earth. He persecuted the woman who gave birth to the male child. Who gave birth to the male child. But the woman was given two wings of a great ego that she might fly into the wilderness to her place where she is nourished for a time and the times and half a time from the presence of the serpent. So the serpent, uh, so the serpent, we already moved. Uh, so the serpent spewed water out of his mouth like a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away by the flood. But the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened his mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon had spewed out of his mouth. And the dragon was engraved, enraged with the woman rather. And he went to make war with the rest of the offspring who keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. So this sounds like the persecution of the church 
who remain steadfast with the gospel. You see what I mean? But the dragon has been dealt with. So the church is not called to fight the dragon. I want to leave this with your thoughts this evening. The, the church is not called, called to fight the dragon. The dragon has been defeated. The church is called to remind the dragon and the serpent that we you are already defeated. Um, um, uh, so the church is not called to fight the dragon. The, the church is called to remind the dragon that you are already defeated. So the woman here, and the, the woman here speaks of the persecution that will happen to the church who has given birth to the son, the revelation of the son. Yeah, uh, and that's, that's in metaphors, in pictures. You see what I mean? But the church is not called to fight the dragon. Like you can see in Revelation chapter, chapter 12, the dragon has already been defeated. The church is called to remind the dragon that, hey, please, the fight is over. They won you and they gave me the trophy. So my job is just to carry my trophy and say, hey, Obani, get out. You have been won forever. Remind him of his position as a defeated fool. I prophesy over your life and your house, your businesses this morning that every, every illegal dragon that is trying to attack, that is trying to do something stupid, today, we are not fighting you. No, 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 no. We remind you that you have been defeated. We remind you that you have been defeated and we command you to go to your defeated corner forever. For the one who defeated you didn't defeat you temporarily. The one who defeated you defeated you eternally. It is written and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony of our testimony. Today we present the blood of Jesus. We present the blood of Jesus and we say, dragon, we are not fighting you. Hey, you have been defeated. Get out of our house. Get out of our homes. Dragon, if you have amnesia, our job is to constantly remind you. Because the dragon always prevails against the people who do not know that he has been defeated. You didn't hear what I said. I'll say it again. The dragon always prevails against a people who doesn't know that he has been defeated because the dragon's first character is serpentine the dragon first character is serpent in genesis is a serpent in revelations is the dragon defeated in genesis is the serpent in revelation is the dragon defeated even in, in genesis they bruise the head of the serpent straight whether he comes as a serpent, bruise his head. Whether he comes as a dragon, he has been defeated. I decree and declare, every dragon trying to voice accusation, voice battle against you and your family today, I stand at the point of the finish talk on the cross of Calvary. Dragon, you have been defeated. Christ defeated you totally and entirely on the cross of Calvary. So concerning God's people, you are illegal. You have no legal battle, no legal standing against our lives in the name of Jesus. We amplify the speakings of the blood of Jesus and we decree we already have the victory. Church, listen to me. The church is not designed to fight this dragon. The church is designed to remind the dragon that he has already been defeated. To remind the serpent that Christ already bruised your head on the cross. We tender the blood of Jesus and we remind you, dragon, if you have amnesia, we have quite sound memory of the finished work. He was wounded for my transgressions, bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. And with the stripes of Jesus, I am already healed. So dragon, we send you an eviction notice, you and your team out of our church, out of our house, out of our businesses, out of our health, out of our lives, out of our ministry. In the name of Jesus name of Jesus, we have understanding that you have been defeated. 
So you stay defeated forever in the name of Jesus. Amen. Guys, I'll see you on Sunday morning. We continue Jesus the real deal this Sunday morning. It will bless you. It will bless you. Jesus is the real deal. Jesus is not what is this. Jesus is this is it. This can you explain verse 14? But the woman was given two wings um, of the great eagle that she might fly. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and shall not be weary into the wilderness to the place where she, she, where she will be nourished for a time and a half from the presence of the serpent. So the woman was given strength to come into the place where she is nourished. And I, I hope Michelle is still here where she is nourished. The wilderness, the, all of that is a metaphor. The wilderness can be a place of, of nourishment. Um, Paul said, when um, I received the call, I didn't go to uh, Jerusalem. I went to Arabia. I went to the desert. Jesus went to a place of seclusion to um, John the Baptist was in the wilderness until the time of his showing forth. So because of the persecution, the, the dragon received, the woman received strength to to stay in the corner and received uh, nourishment until um, from the presence of that diabolos um, serpent. So you find in, in Revelations is both the serpent and the dragon. But hey, guys, he is already defeat, de defeated. People are have a new single out to the Ontario. Please speak a word. Not, not just speak a word. Everybody, find what was the platform? Are you Vincent? What, what, how, how do we get the song? Ontario. Please, what is the meaning of a terror? What's the meaning of a terror? A terror. What's the meaning of a terror? A terror. What's the meaning of a terror? She has a single today. Please, not just we're not just speaking a word. Everybody, go and download the song. Go sing about the song. Add it to your play playlist. Nourished in the in the wilderness. So sometimes you you think you're going through your wilderness season, but it is your nourishing season. Not strong. Is your nourishing season? It's and the way that is there is a metaphor. It's a metaphor, please. It's a metaphor. It's my bed today, Roselyn Chas. Yes, I met you in London, London Church. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your best days are ahead of you. You are great, you are mighty upon the face of the earth. The things that are difficult that were difficult for you before, God says to tell you now that it's already easy for you. Great grace to you in Jesus' name. Upon the song by your Vicent we decree, it cuts across. People see the sovereignty of God and the greatness of God and the magnanimity of God and the power of God through the song. They come into the revelation of the gospel in Jesus' matchless name. Amen and amen. So again, reminding those who asked, um, Michelle, the wilderness is a place of not isolation but separation. When the devil wants to kill you, I'm going to end with this. This is very powerful. When the devil wants to kill you, he isolates you. When God wants to build you, he separates you. I'm going to say that again. When, when the devil wants to kill you, he isolates you. When God wants to walk on you, wants to build you, and he puts you in the journey to what he has called you to do, he separates you. Separation and isolation are not the same. Separation and isolation are not the same. So when God wants to use and God has a call upon your life, he separates you. Separates you, 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 you are still amongst them, but you are, you are not there. You're separated. That's the best way I can explain it. But when the devil wants to kill you, he isolates you. When God wants to start walking in you, he separates you. So the wilderness there is talking about a season of separation, not a season of isolation. The devil isolates to kill. God separates to build. God separates to nourish. God separates to bless. God separates to, yeah, where she's nourished is in the place of separation. On Monday, we come into a season of 10 days separation, not to move God's hand, but for us to align to what he's already doing. 10 days of prayer and fasting starts on Monday morning. From that day, then the 21st, which is the last midweek service for this year, I'm going to be praying on everyone on that Wednesday. It's going to be almost like a six hours prayers um, uh, compressed into two, three hours. It is really going to bless you. It is really good. Father, thank you, Jesus. Fando Bokoshka, Beba Devish, Kabo Nuski, Repta Vegas Kevin, Emir Taos, Kivu Hosk Vene, Shobre Nevedisu. So I had, a, I had a revelation just now of that meeting on the 21st. It, it looked like 
um, there was um, a release. Like, I don't know, to, the pictures are, the, the metaphor I see in the spirit, and maybe somebody can, are we meeting every day during the fast? I'll, I'll give you the details on Monday. I'll give you the details on Monday. And the metaphor I see in the spirit, what I see in the spirit right now as I am praying is, uh, uh, I saw like um, a cloth, put a, a white cloth spread on everybody as we began to pray. As I began, to, oh God, to manifest. So as I began to pray in the spirit to manifest, I saw like a white cloth on everybody as I laid hands on them. Um, I just saw white cloth, white like a a white a white something, and it's like a garment, like an office. It's like a, a mantle. It's like it's just it's a, like a beautiful garment. I don't. That's what I saw in the realm of the spirit. So to manifest, we're going to have a great time. Praying for everyone that day. That's the end of the 10 days fast. The fast is not in the duration. It's in the donation. Give it your best. And you see 2023 um, a blessing to you. Some of you who joined the fast 2022, be honest with yourself. This time last year, were you in this level of prosperity, of wisdom, of accuracy? Do you understand? Were you there? But now look at your life now. Look at your life. Where are you? You are 10 times more. You are 10 times better. God is up to something. I feel it already. If you're in the SWAT department, I am with the SWAT department on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, I'm going to be with the SWAT department. Minister Philatire, Pastor Philip, send a message to your team. I'm going to be with the SWAT department on Saturday morning. We need to. I need to educate you on some things. Um, it's very important. I won't deal with it here, but I need to educate you on some things. Um, SWAT department, I am with you in, um, I'm with you, um, um, on Saturday morning. Glory to God. 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 I love this. Sunday morning, two services. Thank you, Pops, for pouring out to us. Thank you. Thank you. Can we join SWAT? No, if you're not already a member of SWAT, you cannot be in SWAT this Sunday. I'm a thousand times better. Thank you very much for being honest with me. So, I don't know, even me preaching, I'm a thousand times. I knew, I knew where I was at this time last year. And I know where I am right now. I'm a thousand times better. Would the new material book be out for the last fast? Hmm. For the next fast? I don't know. I don't think so. I thought it would be out, but well, God will help us. We'll pull through it regardless. Amen. Glory to God. I'll see you guys on Sunday morning. SWAT, I'm with you tomorrow. I'll see you guys. SWAT is spiritual warfare and tactics. I'll see you guys tomorrow. 200% um, better. Or you can see where you are right now. See where you are right now. So believe God for this next one. God is up to something and started already. Um, don't, every one of you don't miss any service between now and the end of the year. It's really going to be something that you will not regret. Thank you, Jesus. I see people giving to the church and you're not just giving mail, you're giving stuff. I, I see cars. I see solid materials just being released for the work of the ministry. God is up to something. I just started already. It's your boy, Pastor Flores from the Logic Nation. Never forget, God loves you more than the devil hates you. I can't even believe where I am and where I'm going, what it's going to look like. And God loves you more than the devil hates you. I want to see you on Sunday morning. Please, 8 a.m., be there on time. 10 a.m., be there on time. I love you all. Blessings.